All right, I wanted to try my hand and seeing at how fast I could make a video about uh, explaining trim tags. So here goes. Here's a 1978 trim tag uh, for these um, GMH body cars. Since this will be on YouTube and anybody can watch it, 78 uh, is the year. So uh, our easiest trim tag to identify is actually from the year 78 and 79 at Lordstown. They were. Uh, uh, very descriptive and told you a little bit about the car probably more than the other years so uh, you have here is a 2 for Pontiac H body it was the M27 which was a uh, just the model the body style and a um, the 27 was whether it was a hatchback or a 07 07 hatchback or 27 coupe so this was a coupe 27U was the code for Lordstown which was changed in 1980 to a 7 so this is a 78, and it would have a U, Lordstown. This was the number of the body, uh, the metal shell as it rolled down the line, or as it was assembled, keeping count of the amount of bodies the factory made. Now, the factory made vans on the same plant, uh, not in the same uh, final assembly line, but the uh, chassis were coming out of the Fisher body plant, all counted. So they all counted them together, or whether the vans were even on a, you know, had their own chassis line, a floor pan assembly stamping place it still counted them all together so that's why the number totals up beyond the number of total H bodies for 78 here's an interior code 62 is usually in the uh, camel tan area um, and W was an interior code and for uh, you know your seat cloth whatever kind of uh, material it got and then a 51 is the uh, just General Motors thing for bucket seats. I don't really know why they had to have that on the uh, trim tag code. I mean, there was never a bench seat installed in any one of these cars, but um, I think they should have wanted to make it look cool like it was built in Area 51. Okay, then we have uh, the color of the car, uh, always descriptive in a lower and upper in case the... Uh, styling department uh, came up with a two-tone code a two-tone paint job but uh, uh, H bodies would uh, have always been as far as I've ever known uh, same color lower and upper moving on here we have 07B this is your date code now what we need to know is this production started in the last week of uh, August on any given year so those codes would say 08d and then so to get a month in you have 09d and on and on and on until oh 8d of the next year and then you would be into this would change over to the next year so 07b shows that this is a late production car because this is just before August so this would have been all the way at the end of the line this is up in the number of uh, 400,000 so yeah this is a late production car and we have um, the big four code this means that uh, like your carpet and your console and the dashboard kick panels uh, those could be uh, a matching color like white interiors would have a accent color that's actually the word I was looking for so that's your accent color code and this one matched it was all one color interior this is the day that your car went down the production line they started counting the first day would have been zero zero and they counted up until 99 when this thing reset to zero zero again why didn't it go 100 up to the 244 days that they worked well they didn't really need to know exactly what day this was. They just needed to separate that this was not day 15 car and this was not a day 17 car. This was a 16. Going to be built on this, you know, in this line sequence for the two shifts that worked that day. There would have been a morning shift and an evening shift. And we have uh, this one rolling down in slot number 5510. So this would have been behind number car 5511 and just before car... 5509 or vice versa I think I said that backwards but you get the point and this is the final body's uh, unit number the VIN number so this would have been 
counting up, it starts at a five, not because there were 500,000 cars, but because uh, Chevy had zero, uh, Chevy had one and two arranged for them. So, uh, the other makes got uh, other digits. Three, four, and five were reserved for Buick, Oldsmobile, and Pontiac. And as you see here, Pontiac was in the five, perhaps five and six mode if they went over uh, 100,000 units. So this one was at uh, number 73,563. All right. So moving on from there here, what do we got here? Another 78 trim tag. Now he, look at the difference here. You can tell an early production car, before May or after May car. How do you know? Quick glance, if your car was made before or after May, see the paragraph at the bottom? The uh, That is the federal conformity statement, which was apparently allowed to be moved to the door sticker and save them a punch process on the uh, trim tags, allowing them to get built faster. So they apparently eliminated that from then on after May 1978. That's the latest uh, tag data we have that has a uh, a code on it. I think uh, after sometime before late May, it disappeared. Looking for more codes. This is a code. This is a trim tag from a '75 made in California. As you see, it's got its own totally unique shape. It's a rectangle. It was found in the middle of the console. Let's you know that this was a 75 Chevy Coupe built in Southgate. Uh, looks like an earlier production, and it was built in May. So uh, maybe a mid-year production car, actually, it appears. And then uh, some um, a low uh, unit number here, so something uh, needs to be looked at on this trim tag. Anyways, it was white. Oh, it looks like it was a uh, red car with a white top, and uh, this was probably its uh, going down the line. Its uh, factory uh, production schedule number. It's got a conformity sticker at the bottom. When you got to Canadian cars, Canadian cars didn't need a conformity sticker or punch. They just needed a uh, uh, door placard, I guess, and. Um, uh, 77, 70, 76, perhaps some 75s built at St. Therese. The, the thing will just look like pretty much like this. It doesn't have the, uh, the rippled edges like a, and the fancy cut corners. It's just a credit card cut out of, uh, a piece of tin here. And it's, uh, 198, 486. This is your same code as the, uh, as the production line code here, it's here. This was the day, and this was the uh, spot on the line. Apparently, a little bit of a smaller capacity plant. They only had 999 carriages available at any given time. This was a three. What is that? A Buick or a uh, Oldsmobile? One of those two. Not as familiar. You can forgive me there. HD07. So it was a. Uh, that particular uh, option group and 07 for a hatchback. This was its body number was here 124 or 9 and some 750. And then uh, it was a red car with a black interior. And that's all they told you your interior. That's all they really needed to know on the line, probably truthfully. It's all this trim tag information really needed. While uh, the paperwork couldn't follow the car through the paint booth is really all this was needed for. And so another 77 tag here, and it's all the same thing. You have your date code at the top, your the production schedule, what it was, what number it was, body-wise, your VIN number is separate. Uh, and black and a tan interior and oh I believe this is my one yeah I scratched in the back here the VIN number of the car I wonder if I can oh yeah uh, one I can read it here uh, it's one six oh six two five yep that's scribbled with my key into the back here because this I pulled off the junkyard off a of black Monza Mirage that, as you can see from the trim tag, was a original black car, 19 lower, 19 upper, 64. Tan interior, 
strange, strange days indeed. Um, so another 78, 79 looks the same. Uh, well, 79, there were some differences. 79, the date code is still here, but the, or the year is still here, but the date code, a month and week moved up to the top. This was a Chevy H body R07, the sport, uh, 07. I believe this was probably from a spider. Oh, it was a spider. Cause there's the O2 code. And, once again, uh, the plant code, 7, the body number here, and then your interiors and exteriors, colors, your seat code was moved down here. I think they moved the seat code by the rivet because if the rivet, which commonly ate up this code, was probably you know less important that it got this general A51 code than it did ruining the potential of ruining the date code here. For tracking purposes, if there was a recall and they knew a certain amount of uh, welders stopped working on a certain day at a certain time, they could recall a small portion of cars and find them through dealerships using these codes. Um, 957460, the, once again, the, uh, the date, this was either the 95th day or the 195th day. Now, how do you know? You take the month. They, were, they worked about 20 days a month or each month, we typically counted about 20 days of work. So if from August you were to this is January, so you have August, you have September, October, November, December, January, the, about the third week of January. So we have uh, almost clear one, two, three, four, five, five months, just shy of five months of production, right? So... 5 times 20 is 100, what's just shy of 100? 95, so this was the 95th day of production and not the 195th day, which would have occurred more like uh, toward the end of the line, like a June, it would have an 06 or an 07 code for June or July of 79. And um, so, there you go, uh, a little bit about trim tags, and oh, here's your 1980 trim tag code, things changed again to... Uh, 1980, it's kind of was a reversal here. The stamping went just like the, uh, see, was it even the same pattern? No, it was a little different. It was a little smaller than a, than a, here they are lined up at the bottom. A little smaller than a 77 tag. And a different material. It's like plastic, somewhat plasticky. It's kind of weird. Um, but it does seem still like metal. Just, uh, Getting into the future, 1980, and uh, maybe diecast. That's what that kind of feels like. Anyways, A for 1980, uh, 07B, with the date code was still up here like 1979, 1HR07, and uh, the 7, see as I told you, it's changed to 7 for Lordstown. They still put the body unit number here. They gave you your interior codes here. This one didn't even had a solid red interior, so it didn't have any other numbers needed for that. Uh, 19 lower, 19 upper, it was a black car. There's a little code here. I'm trying to think about what this car might have had. Did it have a sunroof? No, it did not. Hmm. Anyways, um, an A51 here. Pretty general code for your uh, seats. If there was a spider, it would have said 29 here for the Z29 code. And then once again, your same old uh, production line code was this day 14, 114, or 214. And at 07B, it would probably this would probably have been day 214, believe it or not. 214 at 4428. So I hope this... Uh, Gave you some insight on uh, how you can read your Chevy Monza trim tag. Oh, here's a cool picture. Here's a cool picture. Uh, here's where you'll find your trim tag on your car. The 75s will be more toward this area, but your uh, 78, 70, 77, 78, 79, California or Ohio or Canada will be found right there. California is over here. Okay. Hope you enjoyed.